All right, Neil, let's talk about, I would say, some of the challenges being a CCNA. Let's go back in our CCNA history. You know, CCNA individuals back in the 90s or up to the mid-2000s, if you are a CCNA, it's easy to get hired as a network engineer or sometimes a network administrator. Okay, that is way back, especially in the 90s. Yeah. Remember, if you're already CCNA, not too many CCNA before. And if you're already a CCNA, many companies will hire you easily because of the status, uh, the popularity of being CCNA. Yeah. Now, around 2010s or late 2000 to 2010s, um, the, the quality is still okay. CCNA is still CCNA, it's still popular. Many companies are still looking for CCNA for their network engineering or network administrator role, okay? That's fine. Here's the problem. Nowadays, if you are CCNA, you might end up, or this is very common, if you're a CCNA, they don't hire just CCNA or only CCNA for network engineering position, especially if you're young, if you don't have any experience. Most of the CCNA are hired as a help desk which is considered to be the loser IT position. Well, I wouldn't say loser, but it's maybe not got um, as much perceived status as network engineer does, as being on the network team. Correct. So what should they do? And what what's your take about it? Again, before, if you're a CCNA, it's almost 100% to get hired as a network engineer or network administrator. But now, CCNA, should we say there's, there are too many competition and even the healthest position requires CCNA, but if you think about it, they don't really need CCNA. If you're a help desk, you don't talk about routing. You don't do routing. You don't do STPs or, or any of this um, network concepts, maybe VLANs, maybe IP addressing, but not to the extent of a network engineer, right? Yep. So what's your take? Okay, so yeah, like back in the day, the thing was that networks were kind of new. Okay, they weren't like totally new. Networks had been around for, for a long time, but for the, the, the prevalence of every company, having usually Cisco networking equipment and having quite a lot of it and needing a permanent member of staff, at least one, even for smaller organizations to actually look after that, meant that a lot of organizations were really hiring a network engineer for the first time. And there was a real high demand for people with networking skills. In fact, there was more jobs than there was people available to fill them which is why you could get a network engineer job with the CCNA and not really having any experience yet. The way things are now is that things have moved on. It's not like there's companies that are putting in new networks normally and they don't already have experienced members on staff. So when you're coming new into the workforce, you're not going to move straight into a middle level position. You're going to start lower down and then you work your way up. But that's the same as it is in pretty much all trades. Like if you go and study marketing or you study accounting, you're not going to come out of university and go straight into a mid-level position. You're going to start at the junior position and you're going to work your way up. So what's happening with the CCNA now is really just the same as it is in all other industries as well. So yes, it is quite normal. You can get your CCNA. That should hopefully get you a help desk position. And then once you've got that, because you've already got the CCNA, you're already ahead of the other people on help desk that don't have CCNA. So when a position does come up on the networking team, then you're going to be the one that gets it. Or if that doesn't happen, you can move to another company once you've got maybe a year's experience on help desk, and then you can move into maybe a junior network engineer position, and then you can work your way up from there. Or um, add more certifications. Yeah, well, yeah, of course, adding more certifications is always going to be helpful. The, the wider and the deeper your knowledge, then, of course, the more 
attractive you're going to be to employers. Okay. So getting a help desk position is okay. Yeah. But again, compared a decade or a couple of decades ago, if you're a CCNA, you might not start with help desk. Okay. You have a chance getting a junior network engineer position. Yeah. Or a, a network administrator position. Yeah. Okay. So things are, are a little different now. Yeah. And uh, there are too many CCNAs now because the training, the access to training and the materials is easier. Before, the, the, the training is quite expensive, right? Be and there are no virtualization. There's no well, easy lab access before. Um, how did it, when I did my CCNA, I just, I just learned from books. So it, it wasn't expensive for me. I did not, you know, like you could How do... did you do the lab? For the lab, I'm trying to remember, was Packet Tracer still... Boston, was Packet probably. Packet Tracer already around back oh, yeah. then? Boston and Packet Tracer was, yeah. was already available yeah. back then. I, I can't remember exactly what software I used, but I definitely did use software for lab practice, mm -hmm. probably Boson or Packet Tracer. It's that long ago now that I can't remember. But I know the it was the Todd Lamley book that I used because that was my main book at the time. A really good author. He made things really easy to understand. So I did not go and spend thousands of dollars on a training course, for, you know, a classroom course from a, a training partner. It's too expensive when you're an individual. And back then, we di you didn't have YouTube because, yeah. like, we didn't have broadband. We're on dial-up modems, so you couldn't watch videos the internet is so over the slow. internet. The internet yeah. is so slow. And there's no YouTube yeah. yet. You could still get like training i guess we had dvds then i remember not for my ccna but when i did ccnp studies that i think from cbt nuggets or linda linda.com i don't know if linda existed yet but definitely cbt, CBT nuggets. nuggets i remember like for my ccnp voice mm -hmm. i got the jeremy siora course yeah. and again the internet would have been too slow to watch like streaming video so i'm pretty sure that would have been on dvds that i got that all right cool yeah so again um yeah i have never spent thousands of dollars on training because I actually, like, for classroom courses, they're not a good fit for me anyway. Because, so you always prefer the self-paced courses? Yes. That's, that's why the classroom courses are not a good fit for me. It's because of the pacing, where either for things that I'm finding easy to understand, I'm, I get impatient, thinking, okay, can we move on? I got it already. And then other things that maybe I find a little bit more difficult, well, the instructor's moved on already before I've really got it. I don't want to hold the class up by putting my hand up and taking their time asking questions until I've got it. So what I do is then I go and learn it from a book or the internet. So I might as well just have done that in the first place. Uh, and what were we talking about before we got on to the classroom training stuff? If CCNA, yeah. is, uh, if it's a good idea to go for help this position. Definitely, yeah. Hmm. I mean, if, if you do your CCNA and you can get a network engineer position, which really it depends on where in the world you are. If you, you might happen to be in maybe somewhere not, not in a major city, a little bit outside there, where there's maybe not so many Large people, companies but, yeah. that requires network engineering maybe positions. There's, there's companies there, but there's not so many engineers. Mm -hmm. So then you can actually get a network engineer position. If you're in a large city and you've got no experience and you get the CCNA now, yeah, it's highly unlikely you're going to walk straight into a place in the network team so what you do, it's natural. Join help desk. It's, that's the normal pathway. It's what everybody does. And while you're in there, you're doing it with the goal of I'm getting some experience and I'm going to work my Level way up. Level up. Yeah. Becoming a network again, engineer. The same as you would do in any other trade. 